Hello everyone and welcome back for another tutorial with me, You Were a Monkey. Today we are going to do full kitchen for the all-in-one base base. This will be a complete tutorial from all of the tables to the little mortar and pestles. Everything will be included in this. So if you ever want to know how I do my decorations, this is the video to watch. In the far right corner of the kitchen, I have placed a vertical pipe with a tap and I just placed the intake pipe as well. Now we're going to grab some gravestones to create our sink. It does take a little bit of patience to line these up, but once you have them lined up nicely, they look awesome as a sink. And ta-da, all the pieces fit together now. Now grab yourself some trusty tables and we are going to create our countertops. Now we will take canvases and place it on the front of the tables. It does not place on the sides of the tables properly, so you won't be able to line them up, so you always close the ends in with boxes, but just take the canvases and place them all the way across the front of this. And now we take our box and place it on the end, and we're going to extend this little counter out so that we have a little work area. And back at it with the trusty tables. And a refining forge makes a great looking pizza oven or just an, even an open fire oven. And we're going to grab another table and place it just there. And we're going to grab a bench and place it directly in the center. And again with the small box, we're going to extend our workstation out by three. And now we're going to whip up to the corner just in front of the sinks and we're going to place both of our fridges. And now we're gonna place tech catwalks over the top of our workstation here. And we're gonna follow this up by placing some straight irrigation pipes right on the edge and then all the way to the back and then we're gonna add some taps. And now we're gonna grab some flexible water pipes. I'm gonna go through and we're just going to uh, connect all this so that we have water running across our couch. Now we're gonna place a medium crop plot on every single one of the taps and then that's gonna be followed by beer barrels and then we're gonna fill in the rest of the gaps with uh, more crop plots and then we're gonna add some decor. And we're gonna add on two more tech catwalks just to extend this all the way to the edge and then add in our medium crop pots here. So for this last crop plot on the end, we're gonna place a box on the top uh, just to cover up the tap because we're gonna be planting uh, shorter plants in there like the major berries, uh, just because we don't want any plants sticking through the roof. So I'm just placing boxes and vessels and fishing baskets, and this will help fill in that area and make it look, you know, like it's a home. Place a box and another tap, and then use the vessel to hide the tap. And now we're gonna grab some metal wall signs. We're gonna go along the back of this and create a backsplash. And 
Now we'll place three metal wall signs in the bottom of the sink here just so that it gives it a little bit of contrast and you don't see the wood. And then we're going to put some mortar and, mortar and pestles in there and uh, they will be our dirty dishes. And we'll just put in the last couple of pieces of our backsplash and then we can move on. Okay, so now we're gonna place a canvas and then we're gonna place a vessel on top. And then we're gonna take a mortar and pestle and we're gonna flip it around and put it so that the little bowl thing is on the inside so you have little knob things sticking out like this. And then we're gonna place some mortar and pestles on the counter to make it look like clean dishes. And now we're gonna go back to our workstation. We're gonna place a couple tables to extend this out. And then we are going to do some maneuvering over here. We're going to adjust the way the back of this looks by picking up that bench and we're going to actually extend it so that it looks like we have a little shelf at the back that we can put our spices and whatnot on. And now we're going to take two benches and we're going to place them here so it looks like another shelf. And then we're going to grab small crop plots and we're going to stack them up so that we're actually able to use them as shelving and place things on top. Now we can grab some vessels and we will make a row of four of them. And we'll add in our mortar and pestles, make it look like we're cooking stuff. And we'll get that put inside the refining forge so it looks like we're making a bowl of French onion soup or something, who knows. And now to fill in some more space, add a fish basket. Okay, so I've decided that our industrial grill is going to go here. So we're gonna remove those two boxes and put it in just like that. So we're gonna grab a metal catwalk. We're gonna place it just like that. And then we're gonna place a mortar and pestle on it. So it looks like we are cooking stuff in there. So I've quickly removed the crop plots that were at the end of this and we're going to just throw in some mortar and pestles so it looks like there's dishes waiting to be filled. And now we are going to take canvas and we are going to go and put it on the front of all the tables that we have placed, making it look like cupboards. And now we're gonna take tech lights and we're gonna to go to the intersections where all of the catwalks meet and we're going to place them there. So without paint and seeds and fertilizer, this is what you should have. Have you ever wondered how to make a semicircle table? Well, this is how you do it. that's how you do it and it should look like this now we grab our small crop plots we're going to place two of them we're going to switch the angles on the top one slightly and then we're going to place a vessel on top and now we can go ahead and go and place our seats all the way around the table and then we will do our place settings To make our placemats, we're gonna take a canvas and then we're gonna place a mortar and pestle underneath it. And here I realized that our place settings are just not going to work. So we're going to remove the chairs in between and we're just going to lessen the amount of seats at the table and continue on making our place settings. And now we're gonna grab our tech jump pad and we're gonna place it on the ceiling above so it looks like our fancy schmancy chandelier. Don't forget to turn the jump settings all the way down so that, you know, unless you wanna bounce off your ceiling, which is totally fine.
Okay, back to the fridge corner. We're gonna add some catwalks to the stone pillar and now add two tables down the side so that we can put our microwave on. Now we'll add the canvas to the front to complete our cupboard look. And now we can go ahead and place our shag rugs. And now that that's done, we'll go to our refrigeration corner and decorate our catwalks. We're gonna put in some irrigation pipes and some crop plots and boxes, just like the other side, only slightly different. And we'll place some boxes just like this. and a couple more over here with some fish baskets and then we'll put some artifact pedestals. And this concludes the tutorial on our kitchen for the all-in-one base base. I will be putting out more tutorials for the other rooms in the house and the decor for outside. So make sure to keep your eyes out for that. And thank you again for watching and we'll see you all next time. Have a great day.